is great. John H. Williams is our founder, our bishop, and our overseer. We welcome you into this place. We hope that you will be saved, set free, or delivered during this service. May you be touched and inspired. May God bless you. Please join the praise with us. Amen. Put your blessings together. Amen. We welcome you all. Amen. We welcome you into this place. Amen. I feel a breakthrough in this house. Amen. I don't know. I feel a breakthrough. Amen. It's a few of us in here, but I feel a breakthrough in here. It's just something in the atmosphere that makes it seem like everything's going to be all right. And if I'm by myself, I just feel like that everything is going to be all right. It's morning time. We've been there and do it for a night. But joy coming in the morning. I feel like it's morning time. Hallelujah. God is worthy to be praised. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the sun. God is worthy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We ain't got to wait till somebody get hallelujah. to uh, remind you on Wednesdays we will be having Bible class from 6.30 to 7.30 every Wednesday 
Amen. And if you can make it, please come out. We do have Sunday school on Sunday mornings at 9.30 a.m. Amen. Under the leadership of our own. Amen. Mother Block has been doing a great job. Give it up for her. Amen. I was able to send my kids this morning. That felt good. Amen. We thank God for them. Amen. Also, we want to uh, remind you of the Tuesday, Thursday, where we have the, um, you can come out and eat for this month. Amen. And everybody know we don't have junk down here. We have really good food. Amen. Food that tastes good. Amen. If you got people at your job, come on down Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, we got more than enough. God has blessed us and showed favor on the ministry. Amen. And God has, we got more than enough that you come down Tuesday and Thursday for the whole month of February and be blessed. We don't ask no questions. Just come on down. Start at 11 a.m. until it's all gone. Free chili and uh, Polish, amen, uh, for the whole month of February. Everybody know that it's been really cold, amen. What better thing to warm you than some good old chili. So we welcome you to come out with you this Tuesday and Thursday for the remaining of the month, amen. Amen. We want to thank God our own, amen. Brother Mikey and Brother Vince, they went and danced this morning, amen. Give it up for them. And they went over there to pass the Conway. Amen. They were able to minister this morning. Amen. And I pray that God open up more doors. More doors where you don't even have to work. Amen. Amen. And, and I hear God say, if you just obey me, I get a little I get a little My God, and you know, the favor of the Lord is on your life. God said, if you just continue to obey me, I'm going to bless you going in and I'm going to bless you coming out. My, I hear God say, I'm releasing some things right now as I speak. He said, I'm giving you undeserved favor. Understand what I'm saying? Undeserved favor. He said, he get ready to release it to you. I was talking to both of y'all, but God said, just right now for you. He said, I'm getting ready to open up doors. He said, I'm gifting you. Use your gift. Use your gift. For my glory and watch me work. Come on, put your blessed hands together. Put your blessed hands together. My time you little go shot. So I say I'm gonna show favor at your school. Amen. There's gonna be some doors that you're not even qualified for. He's gonna walk you in too. He said, because your praise have not stopped. You don't just go on in here. He said, Your praise. He said, I'm living in your praise. He said, watch me work. And y'all here, I'm standing here before God and all your people. Watch what God do for my people. He said, now many days, it ain't going to be long either. Watch. God said he cut some strings and cut some power. And he's showing favor in your life. Whatever you want, apply for it now. Because God said he already released it. You just got to go and apply for it. He said because the favor is on your life. remind you we're celebrating the bishop on February the 26th 75 years put your hands together his birthday on the 24th but we will be celebrating on the 26th amen we have some people that come to me anything that you want to do amen please see me so we can have a great celebration that day amen 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 we thank God at this time we bless God we're going to uh, call for our deacons at this time amen we're going to do our deacons Come at this time. Amen. We thank God for Deacon William. Amen. But Deacon Wick, Deacon Ricky called me early. And he went to support his grandson. Amen. Put your hands together. I don't know about y'all, but it's good when you look up and see your dad, your granddad, your mama. That's that feels good. And, and Deacon William slid right on in. Amen. Entire month. And for each 
Sunday, we're going to have a different speaker that's going to speak on black history. Amen. It so happened this Sunday, amen, we have our own sister Daria that will be speaking as we get the podium out so she can do it. So let's give it up again to Sister Daria to come at this time. for again. Amen. She was mothered by Anita Vine, which for those who may not know, served as a civil rights activist alongside of Dr. Martin Luther King. Amen. She was an advocate for education, equality, and civil rights. Amen. Anita was also the first black woman to graduate with honors from St. Louis University. Yeah. She is currently 93 years old and is named one of the most successful people to come from St. Louis. Candace was fathered by Leslie Vine, who was also a civil rights activist, who obtained a medical degree from Meharry College of Medicine. Dr. Leslie Vine, who is currently deceased, was a general surgeon who practiced in St. Louis, Missouri and had been in practice for over more than 50 years. Yeah. Anita and Leslie Vine made history during the 1960s by being the first black people to build a home. Yeah. They, are also, they also hired all black African Americans for construction and renovation for their home. Yeah. Yeah. The home was so spectacular that they were hosting football and basketball games for their sons, right. nephews, and neighbors in the backyard. Because of being birthed by two smart individuals, the sky was the limit for Candace. Candace graduated from Harvard University with a bachelor's degree in government and with a master's degree in business administration. She is currently an American businesswoman who is the president and CEO of Assessor Incorporation. It's a business advisory and community development consulting firm, um, a consulting firm. Candace was also nominated by President um, Joe Biden back in March of 2022 as a U.S. Ambassador of Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah. She was sworn into her role by Vice President Camila Harris on November the 14th, 2022. Yeah. She advised businesses and nonprofits. Yeah. By helping with community developments, affordable housing, and quality education, her goal is to continue to carry the legacy her mother and father originally started. Candace has been able to make a positive change to make the world a better place for us African Americans. Black history is a reminder that our lives matter and that we, should, that we have value and worth. Black history is legacy, which means we should honor our ancestors who have gone on and celebrate our, and celebrate our elders who are still here. Thank you. Amen. Give it up for Sister Daria again. Amen. Church, amen again. Amen. A lot of people don't know this. Her, uh, Candace Fowler, we gave him a Martin Luther King Award several years ago. And the kid went over to the McKnight place to dance. And he was a great physician over there. Candace is a, a friend of my wife. Amen. 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 She's an ambassador at what? Trinidad. Trinidad. She's an ambassador right now. She was on uh, President, from President Obama's staff. Amen. Amen. These are some beautiful people. And we try to get people that's up to date, Amen. that's still alive. And, you know, the trailblazers are gone, but they always, God always got somebody to take somebody's place. Amen. In other words, we pass the torch. Amen. 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 I want to thank God for my wife for being a friend of both the father and the mother. When they were, the mother's still here, the divine, the Great civil rights lady, great NAACP spokesman, and I'm telling you, we got people right among us that is great. Amen. Amen. God is great. You are great. Amen. Amen. If, if, if you belong to Jesus, the Bible says, "Baby, He and me, they in the world." So you are great, and we just want to thank that. Let's give her another big hand. God bless her. 
Amen. At this time, let's receive our choir with a head praise.
tell you how great is our God. Give it up for him again. Amen. And the direction of the own D.B. Marcus Johnson and our, amen. Give it up for our musicians. Amen. Give it up for him. Wonderful. We bless God for you all. Amen. We know that God is doing great things in this place. Amen. How great is our God. Ain't there some of you the name above all names? That's the only name that you can call out several times and won't feel the same. Every time you call his name, you'll feel a certain way. You just can't call Jesus and nothing happens. That's the only name that you can call where something begins to happen. I dare you to call his name Jesus. Uh, the more you call him, the better you'll feel. I dare you to call Jesus.
turn it around. Get up and turn around. Level. Usually, I'm so used to new level, God said next level. 
God getting ready to take you to a next level. He said this year. My tiny little bullshit. He said he's going to reveal some things to you in your dreams. You're going to see things before it even happens. God said pay closely to your dreams. I your little little bullshit. I see you the boy. He said, just keep walking the walk. Because you know what? They see the walk. My sheep, you little boy. And I know you get tired of this walk. My knee, you little boy. But you determined you ain't going to give up. My sheep, you little boy. No matter what they say, they can call you crazy. You done lost your mind. But God said, you're determined. He said, be like the tree that's planted by the rivers of the water. Be not moved. But he said, it's the next level for you. Get deeper in that work. He said, everything that you need for me is in that work. And you know what? Even foolish things in this season, God said he going to you. People going to be talking to you and you going to be like, oh, wait a minute. That's God. He said, watch me work. Come on, give Jesus a happy praise. God is amazing. God is amazing. God will meet you right where you are. Right where you are, that's where God will meet you. My yellow little bosha. My shake your little bosha. Pink, I hear God say, He wants to heal you. And there's a song I, I listen to all the time, and it's coming to my head. And that means God say, Give it to you. God wants to heal you everywhere you hurt. You smile, but they don't know your pain. They don't know what you go through. You hold up everybody else, but who really there to hold you up? You felt like God took your anger. But yet you still operating. Sometimes it's like, is it even worth it? God said, if you let me, I'm going to make you the head and not the tail. You are somebody. You're great. Personality, everything concerning you, but the devil wants you to think that you're more than that. God said you would never fit in. He said, Because when I made you, I made you to stand out. said that the wheat and the tariff, they grow together. In the end, he should separate. Right now, you got some friends, you got some enemies, but they all together around you. They all in contact. I'm not just talking just around. They all in contact. They look like they for you. But God said, in this season, he can ready to separate and pull the colors. Come on, somebody. God say, let me heal you. Because I want to use you and when God uses you, you have to be somewhat healed. Because God is going to use you like never before. But he said today, he's going to heal you everywhere it hurts. Because you're looking for that love that your mama gave you. There ain't no love like that, but from above. Your sisters can't give it to you. Your brother can't give it to you. God said, let me heal that. What you thought that I took. But it was mine in the beginning. I birthed her so you be 
corner you have to shock and you don't have shock. You feel like sometimes it's so unfair. God say, I hear you. I hear your thoughts. It's so unfair. Wow. And people that got horrible mamas ain't nothing happening to them. But I had a good mama. Why? Me. See, when all the friends and the frenemies are gone to bed, here you are wrestling with why. But God say today your healing starts. He said he's going to heal you from the inside in. Everything that you was going to do when she was here, God say, follow your dreams and I'm going to meet you. I'm going to open the doors. Heal you. Everywhere you hurt. And you, you know what? They're going to think you acting funny. Because you can't show up for everybody every time. But God say, I'm getting ready to show up for you. Watch me work. Nikki Hugger. Hugger. Come on, y'all, put your hands together. God's going to heal you. God's going to free you. Everywhere you hurt, from the inside to the outside. Heal the God, heal the... It's worth it. God bless you. God bless you. Some things... You know, some things, prophecy, some things, and I tell that all the time because I don't want to confuse nobody. Some things that I do know, I don't want it to appear like prophecy if it's not. But we was listening, she gave her story. I want you to bring the baby here. Bring your grandson here. Bring your grandson here. Deliver me. Shift that for me. So handsome. <laughs> God will bless you and look good. God, you know all the bottom cuts you made. God, I speak peace and restoration from the top of his head to the sole of his feet. You going to give the glory out of his life. For your glory, God. In Jesus' name, we thank you for him, God. Let it all work out on his behalf, God. You know him because you made him, God. Do it for him, God. Do it. Let him be the Joseph in the house. Then when you touch him, everybody around him, Jesus, going to be touched. We thank you for his life. We give you the glory. He shall be somebody great. We speak it into existence. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Come on, put your blessed hands together. Um, yes, everybody. I had it on my hand. Amen. We bless God. I don't know how we ended up right here. Thank you, Bishop. Thank you, Bishop. God do what he wants. We ain't even gonna do it. We, he do what he wanna do. What he wanna do? Do what he wanna do. As we get ready to close. As we get ready to close. You know, as I'm standing up here with me, you know.
know what God said. I always watch series. I watch different series. And God said, just go ahead and go through this season of your series. But it ain't over. Step to your feet. You don't like bothering your mama or whatever, but you know, you, you, you just have some heavy things that's on you. Then that you can't figure out yourself. But God said, go on through. He's in the series with you. He's there. He said, everything going to work out like it's supposed to. Now, I'm not just talking about what you're doing for marriage. I ain't, I ain't talking about, God said, everything. And God said, there's a season of change getting ready to come. I don't even know what I'm talking about, but some things you want to change, some things you it is change coming. You know, I don't even know. God say, it's me. Go ahead. It's some changes that you got to make. Some change. I don't always, God say every area. I don't know what every area, every area could be anything. It could be your job, your school, your home, whatever. But God say, every area, he get ready. He said, go ahead. I'm going to meet you there. Don't be scared. He said, I have not given you the spirit of fear. He said, because I got the favor on your life. He said, so what you ask me to do, I'm going to do. And, and when you change things and when you go to new things, God going to give you better than what you already had. That's what God does. And he said, because you praise me, because you give me good, he said, trust me in this season because I trust you. He said, you're not going to mishandle the things I get ready to release it to you. He, not gonna, he said, you're not going to mishandle it. He said, that's what I'm going to release it. He said, because I trust you with little things. He said, I trusted you with a storm and you made it out. Come on, somebody. God said, I trusted you with what, Danielle? He said, I trusted you with the storm and you made it out. So now, guess what? God is going to meet you. And, and, and I promise you, everything that you're thinking of and you're changing, whatever, hurry up and do it. Whatever you want to apply, hurry up and apply. Whatever you want to say, do it, do it, do it. Because God said, in this season, of your series, he's beating you there. Come on, give Jesus a hand praise. Come on, give Jesus a hand praise. Yes. Ain't that something God say, I'll meet you there? He say, I'll meet you there. We were talking on the way to church, and I'm, I'm, I'm done, Bishop, because when the Holy Ghost get done with me, I don't believe in making up nothing. But as we was coming in, when I was talking, and I was talking, Sister Vicky on our way in, and uh, me and Sister Neil was coming in, and we was joking and laughing. But as I, we were talking about something, God, as I was coming up here, God gave me the answer. He said, say nothing. He said, say nothing. He said, say nothing. He say, I'm going to show you that I'm God. He say, but say nothing in this season. See, I wanted to tell you, oh, you didn't. But God said, don't say nothing. He said, and watch me work. He say, now if you handle it, he'll step back. He say, but say nothing. Come on, put your blessings together. He's the dad on the cross. How many know he died? Yes. Yes, yeah, they shut him on. He got up with all power. You believe that in your heart. Confess it tomorrow. It's not safe. Thou shalt be straight. Do the church is open. Amen. Do the church is open. Let's give it up for the prophet. Let's give it up for the prophet. Time for everything, and I know this time only do it to the church, amen. You may come by now. Stand on your feet, everybody. You ain't gonna stand on your feet, stand on your feet, amen. Go to the church, you go. You don't want to join this church, but see the church you want to, amen. We want you to come to Jesus. It's a new year, folks. You all have Jesus in your life, amen. Don't wait till you need him, amen. Cause you're gonna need the Lord this year, amen. You're gonna need the Lord this short, I'm talking. 
Amen. Don't wait till you call on the church and when you ain't going the word. Amen. You ought to come to Jesus now. You ought to come to him. Good as God said to you, let you live and see another year. Amen. Amen. Well, none of us was worthy to be here. Amen. And you're going to keep fooling around and stand out of church. You ain't, I tell folks, you ain't, you ain't that good to get home. Go to the church and go for time. I don't see what in the world God got to do to get your attention. God be good to everybody in here. You ain't got no excuse. Let, let me tell you something. Holy, 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 for let me talk. Be quiet. Let me let me tell you something. People, I don't care who hypocrite in the church. Come on. Hold on, folks. I don't go to church because they're hypocrites. You go to work for hypocrites. You're going to eat that hypocrite. But I want to ask you a question. Uh, did hypocrite wake you up this morning? No, Who woke you up this morning? Jesus. Well then, quit worrying about what the hypocrite is doing in the church. You make sure you right with God yourself. Amen. Ain't nobody got no excuse not going to somebody's church. Let me tell you one thing. God can wake you up. Here's my son. God can wake you up. And you still won't be able to get out of bed. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's right. So I'm not. I'm not worried about who a hypocrite. I'm worried about myself. Make sure I ain't one. Amen. And that's what you start worrying about. Yourself. Uh -huh. God been good to everybody. Nobody got no excuse for not praising, worshiping God. Amen. Cause let me tell you what. Everything you got, you gonna leave here for somebody else in the way. Sooner or day later, we're going to die. And all you trying to cover up and have and everything, which is nothing wrong with it. But give God the glory That's first. Right. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Much as I need God, I'm scared to be without it. You, you keep doing, some of y'all keep doing the same old thing. It's 2023. You ain't got no better than you were in 22. Amen. Amen. Some of y'all have got worse. I don't hear no amen. So I'm telling the truth on you. That's what it is. Goody, goody, goody. I'm telling the truth. Thank God for the truth. Amen. And let me tell you another thing too. People, I'm going to tell you what a testimony is. A testimony is giving God the glory and not about all your problems. All your problems on me, it don't give God no glory. That's not a testimony. You tell me about your business. You tell God about your business before you leave home. Period, Bishop. Everybody got to tell them ain't no testimony that you run in your mouth about somebody else or this week. Taking up our time and God's time, too. I'm just being honest with you. You need to divide you to know the truth, and the truth is that you free. What the problem is, we don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. I'd rather hurt somebody's feelings and please God than have you around me and you hurt me. Y'all got to have to give God the glory. God been good to us. God been good to us. All the miracles he done done in shining light. And all the people that healed that both been dead. I ain't going to let you chop my blessing. I ain't going to let you get between me and God. You get mad with me, you just stay mad. You just a mad member, that's all, amen. I'm going to love you anyway. It ain't nothing you can do about it. Praise be to God. Give Jesus a big hand clap. There is none, but yes, there is none. Amen. We thank you for tuning in on this Sunday. We come back again. May God bless you. Thank you.